Hi, it's Doug Liner, aka Synthesizer Man, and this week's Patch of the Week is a very simple way to make complex rhythms. It's done with two Serge Classic envelope generators. Very simple things, rise and fall, that's all. Uh, it has some other neat controls too that uh, ultimately can be used. Right here we have a hold, and over here we have a window as well as the way to control the size of the window. These are things that we're going to use in our basic patch, so I'll point them out now. I'm also going to point out that I have a cycle switch that I uh, on all of my modules where it makes sense. If you don't have one, that's okay. All you do to do this is you patch from the end uh, pulse to the cycle input. It does the same thing. I just have these in order to save a couple of patch cords here and there. So this is a four on the floor bass drum kind of an instrument and we're going to use it as the master clock. Now something to note right off the bat is usually a master clock is higher than the things that it's going to power because they're going to subdivide them. But this patch actually does it the opposite way. It uses a slower master and it creates faster rhythms. I'll show you how. It's kind of fun. So we're going to take this end output and we're going to use it to control the second envelope generator. It's controlling an instrument that is essentially a snare drum analogy. Real boring, right? Yeah. It's just even divisions. Four on the floor, a snare drum on two and four, very boring. But what happens is that if we take and cycle this as well as sync it with the master, all of a sudden we get into a whole different ability to control the feel of the rhythm. So it's just two voices again. We've got this constant bass drum, four on the floor. And we've got the snare drum-like instrument. Now, as you can see, I'm just changing ever so slightly the fall time. And it is creating different feels and rhythms. And it's amazing how you can really tune in on something. Now, on my envelope generators. I also have this, which is uh, the same thing as taking the output of the envelope generator to the duration. That creates the ability to have exponential envelope shapes as opposed to just linear, which would be normal with this module. Again, just something you want to do all the time, but you don't want to actually want to use a patch cord for it. And this can act as a fine tune for the rhythm, but also for the sound because we're changing the shape of the output voltage. Lots of subtleties can be made with just those couple of controls, but I'm going to show you one more before I say goodbye. And that is, let's take the window output of the master envelope generator and use it to control the hold of the slave. And then as we tune the, um, the window size here, we can get effects like this, which are kind of analogous to a hi-hat being held open. Kind of a cool thing, right? Well, that's it. That's it in a nutshell. There's a lot more you can do. There's a lot of ways you can uh, you can play with each of these modules in this context, but this is the simple concept. So, of course, who the hell wants that? Let's do something more interesting, huh?
But you get the idea. Play around. That is the idea.